I'm River Bay, and welcome to my gun kingdom. Okay, so I'm out here with my friends, uh, Mossberg 640 KD, the Chuckster. And uh, now he plans on using this rifle for varmint hunting long range. So anything up to 150 yards. Um, so what we decided to do was to order a new scope for him. Uh, he had a three by nine scope on, on his rifle. And um, I recommended a four by 12. Um, so I found this Crimson Trace and uh, it's by Brushline and you can find them on the internet. But um, anyway, you know, he had on this older scope that was, oh, a little bit cloudy and, um, you know, it just needed replaced and get something a little more um, updated and uh, something that can reach out to 150 yards. Um, now this this is a uh, 22 Magnum of course and and you might think well, what kind of uh, um, energy is is left when you go out to 150 yards and that is you have about 114 foot-pounds of energy left so you have plenty enough power to take down, like for instance, a groundhog at 150 yards with a 22 Magnum. So now we're gonna go over a few things today and I'm gonna give you some tips on how to be a better marksman um, with these rifles. And this is a perfect opportunity right here to take advantage of practicing with a 22 Magnum. Because when you move up into the the larger caliber rifles, you want to be able to get off a shot that's going to be accurate and, and there's no better place to start with a 22 long rifle or a 22 Magnum like we have here today. Now, um, now with the clip here holds five and this is a bolt action rifle, so it's, it's very accurate. Um, for an inexpensive rifle, the Mossberg really makes really good quality firearms. So, um, so we're, today we're going to talk about not only ammo, the correct ammo to use and also to sight in your, your uh, rifle, but also uh, we're going to talk about how to get off a good shot, and that is by squeezing the trigger. And since the 22 Magnum, 22 long rifle, they don't have any recoil, you know, you're not going to have to worry about squeezing that trigger so slightly. And then when you move up into the larger caliber, it's going to pay off. So it's all about practice. All right, so um, I got um, quite a few things that I brought with me today um, that we're going to be using. Number one, we're going to be using the GoPro. So I'm going to be sitting that right next to the target and then that way you can have um, instant feedback on, on the shots that I do. And then also I brought uh, a new portable target uh, that I constructed. And um, that way I can start out with 25 yards, maybe go to 50 and then go to 100. So what do you say we get started? Um, let's go over the ammo that I'm gonna use here. Um, now, like I said, uh, this scope that we just put on here is a Crimson Trace 4x12. And um, I had it bore sighted, um, the gun shop where I take them, take them to to have them bore sighted. If you buy the rings um, from them, and you know, that's something else I want to tell you. If, you. if you get a new scope for your gun and the old rings set the scope too high off the barrel, you want to get rings as close as you can um, to the barrel uh, when they go to mount it. Now these caps here, um, I have a rifle. You can. What's you know nice about this scope is the way they mounted it. You can still get the caps on the end, keep the dust off the uh, the lens of the scope. But anyway, um, I have a rifle that I can't even get these. I had to modify the caps because I wanted that scope so close to the barrel. So I had to modify it by cutting out a portion of the, uh, 
of the lower part of the cap to get it to fit um, on the on the uh, scope. So, but anyway, to get it close, um, I want to start out with 25 yards um, and get it on paper. And I want to use some. Uh, I wouldn't say this is inexpensive ammo, but it's it's um, it's pretty good ammo. It's uh, uh, CCI mini mags, 22. Uh, magnum shells so we'll, we'll get it close but we're not going to hunt with these because I like I like to hunt with the uh, hollow points or they're called power points now um, and you know the reason they call them power points now is because uh, ammo companies have uh, improved the uh, BC of these bullets and uh, now these are Winchester 22 magnum and these are 40 grain 19 10 feet per second 1910 feet per second okay so this will have enough energy uh, out to 150 yards like I said about 114 pounds of foot energy at 100 or 150 yards so that's what my friend is going to hunt with so he has the same exact box of shells right here as I do that I'm going to sight it in with but I'm going to get it on paper first first with the CCI mini mag these are very accurate these are great for just target practice um, you don't need a hollow point for target practice but this gun is going to be primarily or only used for um, uh, varmint hunting so once I sight it in with this um, you wouldn't want to go back and, and shoot and, and expect the same performance like for instance these are 40 grain but they're only 1875 feet per second okay so this could raise when you go from the cci mini mag to the hollow points which are faster uh, you're going to have a little bit of a bullet rise so that's why you want to zero it in with with the ammo you're going to hunt with all right all right, let's see how close it is. Looks like it hit low and to the left. Yep. All right, so Let's go ahead and adjust it. Oh, great. This is going to be easy. All right. Holding that cross here right in the middle of the bullseye, lower target. Okay, you see where that hit, that, uh, so we're almost, the elevation is pretty doggone close. Okay, all right, here we go. Crosshair is right in the middle of the target, or right in the middle of the bullseye. Now squeeze the trigger ever so slightly. It should surprise you when it goes off. Boy, it looks like it was right next to that other one. It is. Let's try another one because I I did move that. Let's try it again here. That one's a little bit closer, but still.
Okay, so I moved the target out to 50 yards. We got it close enough. Um, so we'll load another five. Um, I've left the caps off so we can make uh, some more adjustments. Um, but we got it close enough now. Uh, this will be better, especially since I'm using 12 power here. Uh, we're going to stay with that lower target. Okay, we're still on 12 power. All right, let's load up another five in CCI mini mags you know when you when you sight in a new scope on your rifle start out at 25 yards because you'll save some money with the ammo uh, trying to search for where the bullets are hitting so once you get it on paper and you get it close just go ahead and move out to 50 then uh, all right. Okay, here we go. Lower target. Putting the crosshairs right in the center of the bullseye. I might have to set up the spotting scope now that we're out to 50 yards. Okay, so I think I see where it's hitting. Um, we still need to make some adjustments, so let's just go ahead before we shoot the next four. The wind has picked up too a little bit. Okay, let's see how we did on that one. Okay, that's all the CCI. So we're done using CCI. Let's go over to the Winchester. Um, 40 grain power points. And this is what we're gonna finish with now. Okay, we're gonna stay at 50 yards. Like I say, they, they don't call these hollow points anymore. They call them power points, and that's because they've, they've raised the BC up on these quite a bit. Um, they go straighter through the air than the, than the old days when we had hollow points that we were using. And now they're more aerodynamic. And if you watch my squirrel hunting videos on my channel, You'll see how accurate these are because these, is, these are what I use. But I use the long rifle, of course, when I'm hunting squirrel. So, but you'll be able to see how accurate these uh, power points are. Okay, so there's five. Okay. All right, so. Let's go to the upper target now. Okay, fresh target. Put the bullseye 
right in the center, or putting the crosshairs right in the center of the bullseye. Okay. Now we should have a bullet rise with these. Okay, you can see, I don't even need to use a spotting scope. You can see that I'm over to the right. Looks like I'm just outside the bullseye. And I'm a little high. So let's drop it down. And I figured we were gonna have to drop it down anyway. Uh, let's drop it down two clicks. And then over to the left four. I, I love these adjustments. This is a really nice scope on here. You can feel the clicks. Some of them are so slight when you get a good quality scope that's that's what you get. Here we go. We're at 50 yards. Huh. Now I went way over to the left. Let's go back to the right. two clicks and the elevation is good so I'm going to stay there with the elevation all right I'm still over to the left. Okay. I don't want to go too far. Let's go three. Three clicks to the right. Here we go, right in the center of the bullseye. We got one more in here. Can't ask for anything better. 50 yards. Now, we're gonna shoot, shoot this one off. Uh, since we got one more left in the clip, but once we do that, then we go to the 100 yard. Um, now with the winds today, later this week, at the time this video is being made, I, I noticed that we got some winds that are gonna be under four miles an hour. So I'll probably bring it back that day and shoot it at 100 yards and, and finish zeroing uh, the scope in at 100 yards. And there's, and that's where I'm gonna leave it. So. If my friend would shoot a groundhog under 100 yards, he just has to remember he's going to have a little bit of a bullet rise under 100 yards. Okay, then this scope also has a bullet drop compensator. So if he's out to 150 yards, then he, he can use that for sure. And But let's go ahead, and we got another one in here. Now, I want to be really, really slight with the trigger squeeze, okay? So here we go. I 
is just slightly low on that one. It looks like, let me look in the spotting scope. Since we're going to have to change targets when we go out to 100 yards, let's just let's just fire five more shots at that top target. Let's do that. All right, we'll stay at but we'll stay at 50 yards. All right, I just want to get a I just want to get a good uh, decent grouping at 50 yards before we move out to the 100. I just want a better grouping than what I'm getting. That last shot I just fired is about an inch and a half lower and over to the right. We could go to 100 yards, but what's another five five shots here? Just, just to make sure our grouping's good. Because when you get one in the bullseye, just one, you know, you don't know if it was a lucky shot or you pulled it to the right and whatever it's just better just to get some groupings um, in that bullseye and then it, that way you know that when you reach out to 100 yards with it they're going to be really close to getting zeroed at 100 yards now if this was a 22 22 long rifle I would stay at, uh, I would zero it in at 50 yards and leave it there. Or 40 yards, you know, whatever. But with a 22 long rifle, you know, those are great for squirrel hunting. So you don't really go much over 35, 40 yards for squirrel. So, but when you got a 22 Magnum and you got a 4x12 scope on it, and you want to hunt varmints a long ways away, um, it's better to zero it in at 100 and just leave it there. Let's go ahead and load uh, five more 22 Magnum here, the Winchester, 40 grain. 1,910 feet per second. All right. Now well, let's put the safety on until we get uh, until we get it lined up here. Let's stay with that top target. Concentrate on squeezing this trigger. Why well, I can't see it with the scope on me. Let me look in the spotting scope once and see. Fire another one here. There we go. Slightly over to the left a little bit from that other one. Yeah, there we go. That was better. All right, let's finish another three here.
like that one hits slightly above, but still it's in the bullseye. Getting the grouping at least. Now the wind's kicking up a little bit. There we go. that was it all right so if you're out of gun range make sure you don't forget to put your safety flag in there before you go down and get your target okay. so these are um, these are awesome shots here um, this is at 50 yards again um, all these up here are all with the Winchester 22 Magnum, 40 grain power points at 1,910 feet per second. Okay, so you can see the last last shots that we fired are grouping pretty close. But we'll, we'll uh, uh, that could just be me. I'd like to have them touching. Um, but let's, we'll move out in the next video, we'll move out to 100 yards and uh, well, uh, even perfected even a little bit more, uh, but I'm not going to make any adjustments. Um, it could have been the wind that kicked up too, but these aren't bad. They're all all in the all in the bullseye there with the last four there. Um, so, but anyway, these these outside shots here were before I made the adjustments to where I was hitting them. So, all right. So, and then down here, uh, this was all with the CCI. Um, once we got these touching the bullseye, we moved up to this target. Uh, this is the ammo we're going to stay with now. We got it zeroed in at 50 yards. They're grouping pretty nice. Now we can go out to 100 yards and just perfect it from there. And once we get it zeroed in at 100 yards for a 22 Magnum, that's where I would suggest leaving it. Okay, so and then if you have a, a bullet drop compensator um, on your uh, scope, that'll help you when you shoot farther than... Uh, hundred yards so but anyway I appreciate it um, make sure you subscribe to the channel um, that way you can keep updated uh, when I do the next uh, video at a hundred yards and make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and share it with your friends for sure all right thanks for watching <laughs>